look, obviously with the, the rule being written at the moment, um, there's a lot of work going on with uh, the different concepts and developments uh, to be part of that rule. We started off in, in August with just a piece of paper and uh, some ideas and came up with this. Looking at some, some new concepts for, for a mainsail for this boat. Trying to keep a lot of the tradition of um, mainsail design still, still in this, but to try and improve the aerodynamics and get a bit more power out of a rig like this. Yeah, the idea is to um, have a practical solution for an efficient wing that we can, um, that every everyone can have it, so we get some trickle down from the other Pretty similar to the Just flapping a bit, right? Pull that on until it stops flapping. We've done enough work on it to know it's a fast concept, but you've got to do the basic things like tack and jive and make the thing you know, go up and down and just silly little things like that before we uh, commit to this for the next three years. You know, it's quite a big step to take. But... Absolutely. This thing's got a, quite a big D section mast that forms the leading edge of the, of the mainsail, and then it's got uh, two mainsails coming off the back of the shear web of that. Together that form, forms quite a nice aerodynamic, uh, aerodynamic shape. Um, we've also, you can see up the top, we've got a gantry up, up the top there with a control arm where we can uh, sort of help support the, the leech up there and, and twist her off. Six or seven of us working on this for the last six months done a lot of simulation work, but to, to see it in reality, even at a small scale like this, but big step today to, you know, in our confidence that this thing's something uh, a bit different and it should be pretty good. It is certainly a, a huge step towards that rule finalisation and um, you know, a big part of the, uh, the future class in the America's Cup.